This will be good for the audio. A one and a two -y and a ah, ah, chewy. Oh, oh, nothing quite wakes you up. Alright, guess who did three hardcore nuzlocke attempts and didn't list the rules anywhere? Um, so, rule number, nuzlocke rule number one, um, no death, perm death, perm death. Rule number two, um, you must catch one per route. Um, in this instance, um, we're doing a roulette to see what encounters we get just because they're static. You can't just close your eyes and run forward because things are static. So, a roulette of possible encounters, then get that one. Um, bingo, bango, bongo. Um, and then, obviously, nickname Pokemon. Those are the standard does like rules. Hardcore rules are no leveling past Gym Leader's Ace, so Gym Leader's strongest Pokemon at the time. And this, we're using the order, the level order, as the actual order. Um, Titans and... Team Star stuff is not level capped right now because I couldn't find a really good s level cap for that. So we're not level capping it. We're just going to do it whenever we feel like it. Um, and then play on set mode, which here there's no set mode. So you just um, don't switch. Just refuse to switch. And um, no items in battle. Any who's Welcome back to um, take two. It takes two to make a thing. All right. Ooh, we want to... Kill those things. It takes two to make it out of sight. Um, or take three, actually. So my character is now named Take Three. Um, we switch the genders up and the starter. Come back here, Fletchling. Let me kill you. God, this mechanic is so bad. Do I have to have my ride on? Or do I have to do it after the school? Oh, weird. Yeah, I was definitely able to come back. Huh. Alright, well, we never got a cave encounter. Supposed to be a hound door. Which again, we are doing roulette. Um. Actually, I'm actually doing a random number generator. And just. Counting from the little Bolopedia listing or. Whatever listing I can find, because. Sarah. Well, places are still. Struggling to have a complete listing, which makes me really curious how Pokemon Challenges did his on, um. Release weekend, like he did his release weekend. Yeah, I get it, Nimona. But uh, how do I win this? The answer is how the fuck do I win? And the solution is I don't. Jesus Christ. Right, at least one struggle bug. Alright. We get off two, or do we just sack two friends here? Nope. Alright. Mama, you're fucking merciless. Do we even live. Oh, oh, easy. Okay, maybe we didn't need to sack both friends then. Your spec attack drop. Eh. Tomatoes, tomatoes. So, speaking of Brandy Moss, so last. Last week, when I needed Paris Campbell to get 50 fantasy points, I was looking up receivers, and did you know Randy, or not Randy Moss, uh, Jerry Rice had a five-touchdown, 220-yard game? Yeah, Jerry Rice was the fucking man. Like, five is, fucking touchdowns. He is, he is the goat of all receivers. Oh, yeah, it's not even a question. You think, he, you think he's better than, you think he's the best receiver? I think, I think he's, he's the best better. receiver of all time. Fair. He played in shorter seasons, he had more difficult uh, rules... Like, defense can't do shit anymore. Like, yeah. that's what they want. So it's like, it's just awful. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. I think it's either him or Randy, but I don't, care. I don't know how much back and football you guys played, but I played so much back and football. I played Madden. Yeah. I played Madden too, but I definitely played, at least when I was a little younger. I was, still playing back I was and football. awful at it, so every time my brother would want to play, I would get my butt kicked. It was also on the PlayStation, or on the um, PC, and we didn't have a... We had a 64, which I don't think... Or no, 64 in Madden. So I don't know why I didn't play Madden until PS2. Um, another, another Scarlet Violet question I don't think we've talked about. Uh, Heath, what do you think about the music? 
I'll be honest with you, I didn't really listen to it. I think a lot of the, like, I think the first day I was playing the game, I was playing with you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really listening to it, and honestly, I usually have the TV volume down. Like so, my setup is I have two monitors for my computer, and then above that on the wall is the monitor I use for my video game. And uh, usually, I'm just listening to shit on the computer or talking to you guys, so I very rarely have the actual music to a game up. Fair. So my issue with the, I think in a bubble it's fine. My issue with the music is a lot of it's just reused. Or it, it did sound similar. I didn't know if it was exactly the same. Yeah, if not exactly the same, because I'm not sure. If not exactly the same, it is definitely a lot of remixes from Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield. If not exact copies, because it sounded like copies to me, but I don't know those songs enough to say that they were, but. They definitely felt like a lot of stuff. There's a lot of music from Sword and Shield in Sun and Moon. And that's fucking lazy. Even if they are remixes, that's still lazy. Yeah. Got to love Final reason. <laughs> I think it's also because it, it changes all the time, so maybe that's why. There. Man, I really wish the Switch could physically perform to carry this game. It's just so much more of a burden than Breath of the Wild that came out six years ago. So are you trying to tell me that and this I'm, game is not too tough for the Switch to play? You're gonna... And I'm sure Tears of the Kingdom is going to have just as many issues because the Switch can't handle it. Sir, sir. How does Tactic Ogres run on it, though? You beat that shit yet? Not yet. It's so long. Yeah, hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Have you beat Ogre Tactics yet? No, I have not. No, I'm close, I think. It's just... The issue I have... Oh, go ahead. Then they're, gonna, then they're gonna introduce, like, God to it. Like, we're defeating the Ogres, but now we have to defeat God! This is not One Punch Man. Um, that honestly reminds me of one of my least favorite parts of Game of Thrones. Any anyone care for Game of Thrones spoilers here? I think y'all. Well, I don't know the new season stuff, but it's already been written about, so like. Well, not like Castle Dragon or the books. I'm talking about stuff in the show. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm caught up on everything. Fair. So, one of my least favorite parts about, I think, it was season seven um, or six, one of those. Um, and the books may change it, and hopefully they do, but I'm not going to read them anyway. Is the whole fucking. What was the. The blood god, the red god that Stannis followed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the show had shown that he exists, and whenever Stannis, you know, did his fucking rituals, it worked. But then when he kills his daughter, nothing happens. And the whole thing, I think the whole thing was, oh, you got punished, you killed your daughter, you idiot. But, like, that's not how the, that's not the rules the show had established. Yeah. It just, it always pissed me off, like, I should have never, that should have never failed. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. weird that they chose with no context, right? Yeah, it was never explained, like, oh, the god abandoned you or something. That was never said, that yeah. was never stated. It was just, oh, you killed your daughter because you're an idiot. Ha ha, now you're dead. There was a lot of stuff they did in the later seasons that were just not good, but that's what happens when you have a series that they're trying to rush to a finish. <laughs> and not even have the right... <laughs> Not even the writer even finished it. Yep. Well, I mean, to be fair, if we were going to wait for George R. R. Martin, we'll never get to the end of the fucking show. It's 2024, baby. When's the winter? Yeah, he's been working on that for how fucking he's, long now? But he's or? been writing... He's like, oh, I'm going to write prequels now. And it's like, well, what the fuck? And I'm, the fucking series, bitch. And I'm going to help write Elden Ring. And I'm going to... He worked on another video game and some sci-fi game as well. And other miniseries. He's been working on miniseries. And he helps write House of Dragon and... Yeah, but, like, House of Dragon is, like... Like, with this one, how much help do they really need? Because the story's already told. Yeah, but I mean the details are a little... Some of the interpersonal stuff, but it sounds like... You know, he came out and just kind of shit-talked some of the stuff they did in the series later. So oh, did he? So, he actually, like... He um, just said some, some story parts, like, didn't make sense, or... Blah, blah, blah. You know, just kind of, like, you know... Yeah, he's kind of a... Actually a little bit. He seems like he's kind of a douchebag, honestly. 
So, you know, we were on here when Cody was eating his chicken uh, tenders earlier. Yeah. Yep. Good Did chicken tenders. I remember that time fondly. <laughs> would, that, would that make us taste buds? Ha <laughs> ha. So I fucked up my left ear earlier this week. Like I scraped it. So I'm forced to get a hearing aid. So I sent it off for the uh, request for one, and I have heard nothing next. <laughs> God damn it, Jonathan. Why do you need a hearing aid? <laughs> okay, that made the joke good. Nobody explained it. Explained it. <laughs> Never mind. The joke's good now. Thank you, Jonathan. That was a planned bit, right? Eric's still waiting here. Like, why is no one telling me why Jonathan needs a hearing aid? No, because I, I heard my I heard my son on the monitor, so I didn't hear the last part. <laughs> You're, you're you're good. The, it was a joke that I had hurt my uh, my ear earlier this week, so I had sent a, a, requ a request for a hearing aid, but I hadn't heard anything since. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> Actually, no, let's do this first. I got I am, I got it now. I think we can win without sacking anything. He said famous last words. As the suitor wipes me again. That would be disappointing. If I leveled my Pokemon to level cap and brought Stantler along, this wouldn't be a problem. Because then I could just double intimidate his ass and just swap between Stantler and Mastiff. Yeah. But I didn't do that. Because I was just clicking buttons. Oh, so OBJ went to the, uh, the Mavericks game with a bunch of Cowboy players. Yeah, I feel like at this point there's no way they're signing him. Not this year, at least. I think they are, dude. If Micah Parsons and Trayvon Diggs are going, I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe they're kind of like celebrities too, so maybe they're just going out there. I don't know. He's good, man. It's just crazy that he's doing like, I don't know. He's like full on celebrity shit, you know? Mm hmm. Because like, I know other receivers, like, back in the day would talk shit. Like, you know, Randy Moss, Joe Horn, Chad Ochocinco, like. But, I don't know, I just feel like he's more, like, reality TV, like, you know what I mean? Like, that type of shit. Yeah, no, I don't. His shit talking is not fun. We even take god damn it. This isn't gonna matter. Do 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 but we popped a sturdy now. So I think we can win this way. What's up? I said yeah, pop is sturdy. And if Mastiff dies, whatever. Alright, well I'm gonna approve of post that Jay's making. Uh, uh, it's just fucking just dick, just... No, it's, um, he's saying, okay, I'm gonna say it, Dynamax is better than Terra. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yes. Dynamax was the best game mechanic they had instituted. A hundred percent. I remember this first, how shitty my fucking... Uh, Makahita's taking these fucking hits. I guess Sudowoto is fairly strong for this point in the game. But he still took like 50% from minus one. Alright. Damn it. OBJ, where's my 22 points? Sorry. Uh, my I was like, OBJ? I used to have OBJ, I had OBJ at the beginning of the season. I cut him. Alright, you know what? We're going to greed. You know what they say about greed? It always works out. All right, come on, seventy-yard Mike Evans touchdown reception. What's the game even looking like? Seventeen-three Saints. Seventeen-three. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen. God Go damn. Kicking field goals, baby. So I think that lost uh, Jay the game. All right. You said you didn't want the Saints kicker to do anything, right? Uh, yes. Saints kicker and someone else that we were like, that's him and ridiculous. Saints kicker and Godwin have to get under fifteen combined. I think uh, they definitely passed. I was like, see. Will Lutz on his own probably has like 15. 3.2 in my league. Mm. But if that's a PPR, that's 8.2. Uh, yeah. yeah. But Will Lutz, 
Well, that's at least 10 points, depending on the yeah. length. So that's 18 right there. Give me those so kicks. They, they had to score. They couldn't score 18. All right. Can we take a minus three rock throw? If we don't, if we do, we win. If we don't, oh, or just misses. Well, we sacked Mastiff for, I guess, nothing, but oh well. Never mind, because it didn't kill. Because Sudowodos bulky, I guess? Alright, now can we take a minus three rock throw? The answer is barely. God, Hounder is so fucking frail. Yeah. Minus three rock throw still did fucking like 80%. That's crazy. <laughs> but, oh, right, yay, we win! Sorry, Mastiff, but. Or Mastodon, I can't remember his name. Mobostiff. The baby, the baby one. Oh, Mastiff? Sh yeah, Shitty Poochiana. Mischief, I think, was it supposed to be kind of be like Mastiff? Yeah, I'm assuming. Also, I like how the dark type, like Intimidate Dog, was the one they used to be like, have the cute storyline. But it's very yeah. cute, and Arvin is one of the best characters I think Pokemon's made. No, yeah, no, his story is the best. My my friends were telling me today, like, yeah, he's by far, like, the only Pokemon character that would, has really gotten, like, development. Yep, he gets actual development. Nimona doesn't really get a lot of development, but I sort of like her story, and it's nice to, you know, just showing a... She's just interesting, and I like seeing nerd... divert independent woman. She That's... just needs battles to fill her heart. She I... don't need no man. As someone who has possible undiagnosed neurodivergent qualities, it is also nice seeing a neurodivergent character. What do you mean by neurodivergent? Brain brain don't work normal. Like her. Mona's brain not work normal? I feel like her. Like, I don't know her. Her obsession with her her hobby, like the obsession with oh, battles, is like on the spectrum. Yeah. I, oh, I think so. A lot of people do too. I've seen a lot of people talk about uh, that. They, I didn't, I didn't even I didn't make that assumption. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have. I guess I wouldn't have jumped to that conclusion. Fair. Yes, yeah, po possible possible on the spectrum. And like her, because a lot of people like obsess over like certain hobbies and stuff. Like that's all she knows how to talk about. Cause that's all she can think about. And like that that is a common trait of neurodivergent slash spect slash autism. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense now that you're saying. It. I just didn't even. My mind didn't even go there. Fair. So, I think she's interesting, and I like her a lot. And Penny is just okay. Yeah, Penny's alright. She exists. I just don't I don't like how her storyline ended. I think the solution was very... Yeah. And then everyone lived happily ever after. Be because... But she's fine. I don't dislike her, especially after fucking Hop and How and whatever dog shit we got in Let's Go.